Uh, that's not my time machine. What the heck is it? And where'd the shower get to? Oh dear, oh dear. Um, yes, hello, gentlemen. I was hoping you could direct me towards... Are you seeing this, bros? Did that dude just walk out of a magic shower, bro? <laughs> he did, bro. What a weirdo. Hey, Lise, uh, quick question. Do we get to keep our jobs when this is all over? You mean our jobs working for the total whack job scientists who went back in time just to steal a bunch of intellectual property? Yep, those. I'm thinking no. Oh, man. I really don't want to have to go back to my last job. How was it? Um, you know that weird billionaire, Andreas Priest? Didn't he make that dating app where you only get to see the other person's nose? Yeah, I was his personal napkin. I wore a big white t-shirt, and whenever he ate something with a lot of sauce... Hey, why don't we start the mission? Looks like you're in Florence around 1503. Huh? Oh, um, who am I here to help? Leonardo da Vinci, which is a bit of a problem. He's famous for about a million different things. Incredible inventions, beautiful paintings, landmark anatomical research... So we have no idea what Lupin kept him from doing. All right. We can only hope Leonardo has some idea. Good luck, Kelvin. It's locked, and it looks very sturdy. Why is there a naked dude on this sign? Uh-oh, something weird's coming. Time to activate stealth mode. Well, that wasn't even remotely suspicious. Hmm, it looks like you can swap out the head and the hand somehow. Ugh, it won't budge. Maybe I need to put a key in there first. This pepper looks like it's got a serious kick to it. It looks just like the little pepper they put on the menu to tell you stuff is spicy. I'm not a big facade guy, but as far as facades go, this facade is tops. Uh, excuse me, are you Leonardo da Vinci? I am. And who might you be? A traveler from another time here to uh, aid me in my work. Look, I know this is going to sound crazy, but... Wait, what? How do you know that? Firstly, your hideous clothing appears to be made of neither plants nor animal. Uh, second, your teeth are uncommonly straight, exceptionally white, and impossibly intact. And uh, finally, that device on your wrist is far more sophisticated than anything I could have hoped to imagine. All of this indicates that you hail from a land that has made incalculable technological advances. That is to say, in the future. Okay, smart guy. But how do you know I'm here to help you? Well, if you wish to harm me, you would have done so at a time when I was incapable of fighting back. Wow. Well played, bearded dude. Thank you. So what exactly do you need help with? I fear I have reached a bit of an artistic impasse. 
You see, today I was originally scheduled to begin painting the portrait of Lisa Gherardini. However, the Lady Gherardini unexpectedly changed her mind this morning. Apparently, some diminutive trickster convinced her that I have a secret laboratory full of corpses. Hmm. So, who's that over there? Well, that would be Lisa's sister, Mona. I don't have time to explain, but you really need to paint Lisa instead. Oh, would that I could. Lisa has a wry subtlety about her that I long to capture on the canvas. But alas, she refuses to come anywhere near me. Mona, meanwhile, is regrettably more direct with her emotions. Yeah, I, uh, see that. Okay, hear me out. What if we dress up Mona to look like Lisa? I'm afraid Mona's attire is not the issue. It's that gargantuan, goofy smile that she absolutely refuses to change. Along with her hair color, I suppose. Lisa's a much darker brown. So if I can change her smile and her hair color, she'll look like Lisa? Well, yes, a great deal. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. Mona doesn't like her sister much. Asking her to look exactly like Lisa will not go over well. I'll figure something out. You, uh, stay here for now. The fate of the world depends on it. As you wish, time traveler. You are looking downright chipper. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I thank you. The lady is thanking you for the compliment. Yes. I'm afraid she is wholly committed to maintaining her current expression. Isn't your jaw starting to get tired? Uh, no. Not even like a little. Uh, no. Dang. I'm impressed. Hey, uh, any chance we could get you to smile less? Kind of like your sister? <laughs> the lady said. Yep. No, I, I got that one. What the? All of this is fake. Maybe Leo uses it for still life practice. No other servants allowed in the kitchen! But I'm a promising new culinary genius with everything to prove. And I'm a surly old soup lady with a steak knife. Now scram! But I'm Leonardo's official taster? Ha! <laughs> Not likely, String Bean. My cooking would probably kill you if it were poison. Leonardo just told me his breakfast tasted like boiled horse. Well, of course it did! What the devil did he think he was eating? Do you know anything about the door in town with the weird sign next to it? I do. It's uh, one of my laboratories. So you can get me in then? I can, but I won't. It contains some uh, sensitive experiments that shouldn't be disturbed. Oh, you mean like dead people? I saw a dead person go in there. It was super gross. Yes, dead people. For anatomical research, you understand. I'm not a dead person collector. If you say so. I thought I told you to stay out. I just saw an old pigeon out in the courtyard. I think it was dying. Out of my way! That's two good meals, at least! Chef Benedict Roser's traditional boiled weasel. Step one, bring water to a boil. Step two, boil weasel. Step three, Salt to taste and enjoy. Does this door not have a lock? Come on! Leave right now or you're going in a soup! Eve!
Hey, uh, do either of you know Leonardo... Wait your turn, rectangle face. I'm in a hurry. I'm not cutting in line. I, I just had a quick question. No question! Only hammer! Okay, then. Are you sure you want to make this guy a dagger? He looks pretty suspicious. What do you mean, suspicious? Well, your eyes are darting around like you're looking for somebody to stab. Also, you're grinning like you're going to eat the person after you stab them. I'm just admiring the local architecture, looking at all the columns and domes and pilasters and whatnot. I can't help that it. it's all putting a big, creepy smile on my face. Now, can I? All I'm asking is... No question! Only hammer! Right. Sorry. So, do these things take a while to make? The smithing process is an arduous yet delicate one. The iron must be heated to an extreme temperature, then drawn and shaped with precision. Larger blades can take days or even weeks to complete. Uh, I, I mean the... Uh, no question! Only hammer! There we go. Alberto's Alchemical Sundries and Miscellany. Uh, excuse me? I'd like to... Ah! 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 Why are you screaming? You screamed first! That's pre... <laughs> That's preposterous. I would never do such a thing. Now, what alchemical needs do you have? I'm afraid I'm very busy. What's with all the rat poison? Our top seller! A compound of my own brilliant design, guaranteed to kill any and every manner of rodent, or I'll give you double its value and star credit. What do you know about Leonardo da Vinci? Can we please not discuss that bearded cynic? Man has no respect for my craft. Calls it a tired old pseudoscience. Could a pseudoscience produce a scone that is both salty and sweet? Mm? A scone? Isn't that just baking? It's alchemy, you fool. Alchemy! All right, jeez. See you later. Huh? Yes, fine, whatever. <laughs> what kind of incense is this? It smells like sweaty trout. You've never smelled Lupin's breath before? Oh my god, that's exactly what this is. And those are samples, if you'd like to take one. Ooh, ooh, these fumes are really disorienting. I think it's a book of alchemy recipes. Man, this guy's handwriting is awful. I can't read any of these. Oh wait, here we go. This one's for a brownification elixir. Boil one raven feather to create base darkening agent. Add sliced tentabell root as needed to achieve desired brown hue. Mix in ground femur to enhance bonding properties. Could you uh, whip me up some of this brownification elixir? I'm afraid I only have time for orders from high-value customers tonight. Hey, I could be a high-value customer. If you were a high-value customer, you would have sent a servant. Besides, I don't have any of the ingredients right now. See you later. Huh? Yes, fine, whatever. All right, I get it. The rat poison works. Rat Blaster. Blasts rats faster than a vast pack of fat cats. I wonder what's brewing back there. Uh, ain't the cauldron? That's for decoration. I'm an alchemist, not a witch. Nice snake. Even nicer jar. Don't touch that! Is it poisonous? It's my dinner.
Whoa. Uh, hey, Lise, are you there? Yeah, what's up? I need to know if a plant is dangerous. Okay, what's it look like? Uh, an enormous toilet-shaped mouth full of razor-sharp fangs. What do your instincts tell you, Calvin? That it is totally safe. Calvin, it's an actual miracle you've lived this long. Do not touch the plant. On the one hand, I want to know what's hanging out of its mouth. On the other hand, I like having ants. Do plants with teeth eat other plants? I have to test this. For science! Remarkable. I'll just hold on to this. The owner's probably a little too chewed up to need it. I figured one of these had to show up eventually. Whoa! I never realized the moon was this old. I feel like I skipped reading something about one of these in high school. Here lies Meg Carbonell, who popped his lungs at the ripe old age of 96, screaming at a bunch of teenagers to pull up their pantaloons. Welcome, sir. Uh, looking for anybody in particular? Just, uh, browsing. Oh, take your time. They ain't going anywhere. Mostly. I'm in the market for a leg bone? You Leonardo's new assistant, then? I am, yes. I assist him with all bone-related matters. So, uh, you bring the goods? Goods? What kind of goods? If you're really Leonardo's assistant, you know exactly what kind of goods. Oh, right. Those goods. Yeah, let me, uh, go get them. <laughs> What's with the plant by the gate? Angry little shrub bit me right in the ass. See? Yep, okay, got it, thank you. Have my keys in that pocket, too. Now I'm locked out of the, um, you know, miscellaneous doors. Is that your raven over there? Yeah, it's a union thing. Every graveyard's got to have at least one ominous foreboding bird. Some people go owl, others go vulture, as long as it creeps you out. See you around. Toodles! Hey, these drawings are pretty good. Maybe the gravedigger's making a comic about a guy with severe mood swings. This guy sure has some pretty specific opinions about different moon phases. This guy sure has some pretty specific opinions about different moon phases. Cozy. You don't need a hoe to dig graves, right? I'll just borrow this for a while. It's the grave digger's hoe. You know how sometimes in adventure games, the protagonist will pick something up, even though nobody in their right mind would go anywhere near that thing? This is one of those times. Oh, oh god! Oh, it smells exactly like blue cheese! Oh, it's horrifying how much this smells like blue cheese! Oh, look at the widow cuties. This thread count is incredible. Somebody knows how to shop for linens. This is a pretty nice bedsheet. State your business, stranger. 
The Duke isn't entertaining guests. I'm here for the 1030 tour. All tours have been canceled due to lack of guides. Where'd all the guides go? The Duke's two jesters used to do the tours, but they couldn't stop arguing about how to do them. So the Duke threw both of them in jail until they learned how to play nice. How do a couple of jesters not get along? They always look like they're in a good mood. Trust me, clowns are always angry on the inside. I was here earlier, and I think I left something behind. Describe the object. It's a big black and white thing with four legs. Kind of hairy. That's a cow. You're saying you brought a cow here. Yes. And that you think you left it here. Exactly. <sighs> you are unbelievably bad at this. Sir, I challenge you to a suspicious squint-off. Bring it, Rook. I squint suspiciously for a living, and then I do it for fun on the weekends. Begin! <laughs> Can't take any more. Pathetic. Go home and be a family man. Gotta go. Behave yourself. Bingo! I think I can move these discs now. It's the cart that the corpse delivery man used earlier. Commence Operation Trojan Corpse. Thank you. 